Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn how we can schedule any Azure certification exam. So we will start, uh, we will take an example of AI 900, which is Azure AI fundamental. So you can just search for AI 900 or simply write Azure certification, whatever exam you are uh, like scheduling for and just simply search. And here you will get this learn.microsoft uh, link. So just click on it. It will divert you to this certification uh, page of Microsoft uh, Certified Azure AI Fundamentals. And here you can see overview about that particular exam and what skills uh, it is going to measure. And uh, here you get a little bit of course uh, which helps you to prepare for this certification exam you can also take the practice assessment or you can also check the sandbox where the similar ui you will get familiar with the exam interface means uh, like how question will appear in front of you what uh, in what manner the options will be available to you so you can check using this sandbox okay so we will focus only on uh, in this video we will focus only on like how to schedule the exam so you can see it uh, take 45 minutes to complete this exam and uh, you can give online uh, you can give uh, this exam online as well as uh, going to a test center as well so this is an open uh, this is not an open book exam this is a uh, camera proctor and uh, So this is not an open book exam. This is camera proctored and your audio will also be uh, getting monitored. Your audio will also get monitored. So you should require a proper system which has a like a stable internet connection as well as camera and microphone working. Okay. So this exam will be available in multiple languages. So uh, we are going to schedule it in English and it is going to cost you around 99 US dollars and if you want to check in your local currency then you can check it uh, by changing the country here. So I will change it to India so it will cost you around 3696 and also there is star means taxes are excluded. So it is going to cost me around uh, 4000 rupees in Indian currency. So let's uh, all you should uh, if you are not a student or educator, I strictly suggest you you should schedule your exam through Pearson view. So just click on this schedule exam. So this will divert you to the Microsoft certification profile page. So here you have to uh, like there are three steps for the exam registration. Uh, first is the certification profile so you check all the details which are uh, uh, available here or you can edit if you want to update them so mine is everything is correct email address phone number so you can put uh, a different email address apart from your uh, general outlook or any if you want to change that you can just click on this edit profile and uh, you can change the email address and the mobile number so just uh, if this checkbox is not uh, selected then check it and just click on next so second step is of discount so if uh, this is generally useful for uh, working professional so if you are working for an uh, mnc or a good organization then uh, generally they have a type with the microsoft so here you just need to uh, in this section you need to put your like a working pro working address just like whatever your username is at the rate of your company uh, domain so you have to put it here and just click on this check discount so this will link your personal account to that uh, to your organization account and will provide you uh, like discount to which your uh, organization has typed with the microsoft so generally it can go up to 100 percent discount for various organization and uh, to 50 percent discount so make sure before you scheduling it just check it so currently um, like i'm not scheduling using this company method uh, but if you have it so you can just put your uh, working profit uh, working email address and just click on check discount and your discount will start appearing here uh, in this section or like whatever 50 percent or 100 percent discount it is 
okay so just click on next and uh, uh, in this this is the step three like here you have to schedule your exam and uh, as it said if you have a voucher code then you can continue with this and uh, before doing payment you will get an option to enter the voucher code so we will enter our voucher code there okay so just click on this schedule with pearson view so this will divert you to the pearson view uh, portal where you can schedule your microsoft exam so this is giving us three option uh, in person at a test center or online with the view or you want to like uh, using private access code so i suggest everyone to give it uh, at the comfort of your home using online with on view and uh, it uh, also gives you some uh, instruction like uh, your computer you should have a personal computer which is uh, have a reliable webcam and internet connection so uh, generally i suggest you you don't use your work uh, uh, laptop uh, use your personal laptop it would be good because working laptop has a uh, like a lot of firewalls and multiple restriction uh, to the connection so they might uh, uh, your exam might be revoked due to that so better to go with your personal laptop also no one should come into your uh, testing space when you are giving exam make sure you are in the right space and everything should be uh, distraction free also you need a uh, photo id uh, it uh, takes uh, Aadhaar card, PAN card, and every social security card. Uh, generally, if uh, that card has a signature on it, that would be great. But it also takes Aadhaar and every other card. Also, uh, like uh, you should be available 30 minutes before the like your schedule, whatever the time you are going to schedule. So you should be available 30 minutes before that. So just click on next. So select your language so we are going to choose english you can choose your preferred one just click on next so here you can see have you read or do you agree to the microsoft candidate so the, these are some like uh, necessary so there is only one option available so just click on yes 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 and click next and again there are different policies uh, just you have to check all the box and agree to their data processing and online policies so they will compare official if they have already like uh, so they will continuously monitor our face uh, face so that's why you need a reliable internet connection as well as the like uh, good camera not good uh, not good camera even your uh, and a good and a good camera means uh, like it should not be like a blur or something even your laptop camera will definitely work for that also just select all these and here you can see like what are the ids they are going to accept so like passport driving license and if, uh, all these are available even Aadhaar is available. I checked it, uh, like I have used it on the previous exam. So yes, Aadhaar, Aadhaar also works as well. Okay. So here are some uh, like information. Okay, so the, here also are some information regarding like uh, what you should, how to test your system. So uh, like you should test on the exam day uh, like computer and internet connection like you are getting a like a good bandwidth or not and uh, as i already told you should not use your uh, like working laptop as it include corporate firewall including vpn so better to use your personal and uh, have a good reliable fast to download your exam and webcams okay and your testing space we already talked about we should log in 30 minutes early and here is the like uh, one note we should you take uh, and here is one note we should keep in mind that if you are more than 15 minutes late then your schedule exam time you won't be able to begin your exam and you won't receive any refund as well okay so make sure uh, you like uh, join early as soon as possible at least 15 to 30 minutes before your schedule exam okay 
and uh, you can save this link dashboard uh, aspx so what we are going to do we are going to you can copy this link and save it for the later this dashboard link where you can uh, check if you forget like what time you scheduled it so you can check on this microsoft dashboard okay and uh, here are some rules that you can uh, you cannot speak loud like you cannot read question and option this will like not permitted better to keep quiet and just uh, do your work and you should not use mobile device watches or anything uh, like any book because as i already said this is not an open book exam and no one should come to your uh, webcam or even the voice will not be allowed okay and if you want to reschedule it you can uh, do it like uh, before 24 hours after like if only 24 hours remaining before your schedule exam timing then you won't be able to do it and you won't uh, get any uh, like uh, refund or uh, you won't get any refund and even if you are applying any voucher code uh, from your organization then it will also cost and charge to your company okay also same for the cancellation uh, like uh, you should do it also same for the cancellation you should make the changes uh, before the 24 hours okay so like uh, this uh, on view system contain uh, will Uh, so this uh, Pearson on view will keep your uh, recorded video of the testing and the identification in 60 days after that it go it it get you deleted okay so just click on agree and what is the language you want to prefer to prefer to speak yes uh, there will be a person who is going to continuously monitor to you and going to help you to set up your exam so which language you want him to speak so you can just uh, like i selected english if you want to choose any other then select that just click on next and uh, is this uh, your preferred time zone yes it is my correct time so just i say yes or you can change according to yours and select the date on which you want to give the exam so i selected my date and in what format so generally i suggest you you choose the 24 hour format so it would be really clear to you like uh, at what time you want to give this exam okay uh, so it is giving us the recommended time however if you want to you can choose other time as well just click on this explore more times so here you will get a like a different uh, here you will get different time so so here you will get different time slot so appointment length is 65 uh, minutes uh, because we have to uh, join early and then here are the different time slots are available so you can choose accordingly so yes. here from 130 to 17 so i'm going to choose somewhere between this i am going to choose this 450 So I have selected uh, my time and just click on book this appointment. So you can see uh, it got added to our card. So make sure you again check all the information are correct. Like uh, AI 900 exam we have selected, language is English, length is automatically will come up. Uh, check the date for which you selected, check the check in time as well as the start time. And here you can see your price. And just scroll down and here you can see your mobile number so in case of any issue you can uh, they will call you on that and as i said the tax has got added and uh, here it is like costing me over four thousand i was suspecting it will go around four thousand 
but it is costing us around 4361 to be exact so here you can see uh, you can enter the voucher promotion code on the billing screen so let's proceed to the checkout so here you can see the, uh, this option add voucher or promo code so just click on this and here enter your uh, if you have any voucher or promotion code just enter here so i have it after entering your voucher code just click on apply so you can see and uh, now my uh, cost has become zero so i don't need to enter any card or anything so i just click on next and again it is giving me all information uh, like uh, regarding the date and the type of exam so just click on submit order and there we go our appointment has been confirmed and uh, confirmation containing important exam day has been sent to our contact email id which we have entered at the time of the certification profile in the step one okay so go through all these uh, admission policies what you need to do before exam day on the exam day and uh, like uh, what information they are going to keep it we already discussed about it and now you can uh, even run a system test as well by clicking here to check like if your system is compatible or not so this will give you access code and you can download their software and just run it anyway on the exam day i suggest you you should uh, do this again if you even if you turn at the time of scheduling as well and uh, also you download the like on view software on that day as well because it they are keep updating even if you download it now and your exam is after three to four days back then also uh, it will throw you an error so better to download this on view software on the exam day itself okay so that's all in this video i hope you enjoy this video and it will help you into the azure certification exam also i am starting a series to prepare for ai 900 as well so you can subscribe to our channel and join our journey for ai 900 preparation that is microsoft certified azure ai fundamental because ai is now a very key field so you should start doing it and this is the very basic exam no prerequisite is required to do this exam anybody can go with this exam even if you don't know anything about software or anything else it will be totally fine for you to go and give the certification this will give a validation to your skills and uh, will help you to get an a uh, job in the it or software uh, thank you uh, thank you for watching this video till end make sure you subscribe the channel and like this video and share with your friends and colleagues see you guys in the next video